If you find it difficult to memorize the Quran, I want you to listen to this. So this is the book Seer Alam and Nubala by Imam al Dhahabi. So he says in the biography of the Sahabi Abu Darda radiallahu anhu an Anas mat al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam wa lam yajma' al Quran ghayru arba'ah Abu Darda wa Mu'adh wa Zayd ibn Thabit wa Abu Zayd the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam died and none amongst the Sahaba had memorized the entire Quran except these four in the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. In another report it says Jama' al-Quran ala ahdi Rasulillahi sitta in the time of the Prophet only six memorized the Quran wa hum min al-Ansar they were from the Ansar Mu'adh wa Abu Darda wa Zayd wa Abu Zayd wa Ubay wa Sa'd ibn Ubaid. Of course a lot of Sahaba went on to memorize the Quran after the death of the Prophet sallallahu like the uh, the khulafa the four uh, khulafa but what we can learn from this is that the sahaba took their time to memorize the Quran finishing as fast as possible was not their priority a lot of us find difficulty in memorizing the Quran uh, we have wives we have families we have children to take care of we have our jobs so we find it difficult to memorize the quran we look at uh, those young kids who finish memorizing uh, in a, a year and a half in two years and we compare our hips with their hips and we lose hope and sadly a lot of us discontinue trying to memorize the quran and this is a big mistake so today i want to share uh, some general principles and some advice with you so if you are facing difficulty in memorizing the Quran I want to share these points with you number one you have all your life to memorize the Quran you can take as much time as you need and inshallah if your intention is sincere you keep getting the reward according to the amount of effort you put in so stop worrying about finishing the Quran and how long it's going to take just be consistent and focus on the process look at the time you're putting into memorizing the Quran each day look at the effort you're putting into it and try to increase this effort and don't worry about the results number two is a principle that our ulama always mention ma la yudraku kulluhu la yutraku kulluhu what cannot be attained in full should not be abandoned in full. So if you're not able to memorize the entire Quran, it doesn't mean you should not memorize what you're able to. Even to have one juz of the Quran in your heart, which you can read without any difficulty at any time, is a great achievement in itself. If you just memorize Surah Al-Baqarah, if you carry Surah Al-Baqarah in your heart, this is something incredible. So you should try to memorize whatever you're able to, and inshallah, Allah makes it easy for you to memorize the entire Quran. Number three is to focus on quality. Allah says, بَلْ هُوَ آيَاتٌ بَيِّنَاتٌ فِي صُدُورِ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمِ But this Quran is a set of clear revelations preserved in the hearts of those gifted with knowledge. So if you memorize the Quran once and then you forget it, it's no longer in your heart. Real hips is what stays in your heart. This term half is, is used differently in different places, uh, especially in the subcontinent. We refer to a person who has memorized the Quran once as a half. It doesn't necessarily mean that he remembers all of the Quran. Uh, whereas in the Arab countries, in the African countries, you find that when someone says he's a half, he means that he remembers the entire Quran. And this is the way it should be. We hear all the time people saying, I have memorized 20 juz. But I need to revise. I memorize the Quran, but I need to revise. We shouldn't be saying this. If you can read only one juz right now without mistakes, then you should say, I have memorized one juz. If you know only half a juz that you can read right now, then you should say, I memorized half a juz. If it's not in your heart right now, then you shouldn't be saying, I'm a half. So always. Look at the quality 
and not the quantity. It is better to memorize a little portion of the Quran which you know thoroughly than to finish the Quran once and say that you're a hafiz, but if you're asked to read, but if you're asked to read a single juz from that, you're not able to. So these are a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you. I hope you found this beneficial. And inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.